Hi, and welcome back to Art Online with Ms. Hank. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Let's get started with some art right now. Let's draw Roberto Clemente. We honor him for breaking barriers in baseball and for his charity work and selflessness. He always gave back to his community and others. I will be using a pencil because we're going to do a lot of erasing with this one. Let's get started. First, I'm drawing a nice U-like shape for his head. I'm going all the way around and I'm going to close out. Next, I am going to draw a curved line that's going kind of like at an angle going up for his hat and then we're going to do it one more time and we're going to bring it out a little more now I'm going to erase so all you can see is that part of his hat just like that Now I'm going to draw his ear, and when we draw his ear, we want it looking like he's coming to the side, so we're actually going to draw over the line. Just like that. There you go. I just made a C. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw his side burns for his hair. There we go. I'm gonna erase that line that was inside of his ear. And I'm going to make sure I get it all erased, there we go. Now I'm just going to draw a smaller C. And already you can see it looks like he's looking to the side. Make sure you space two fingerlets apart so you can go over and draw his eyebrows. You see the last eyebrow is touching the very edge of his face. I'm drawing circles for his eyes. And then racing in the middle. And then I did some lines on top to add a little more character. Next, we're drawing his nose. It's like a backwards L shape. And then let's work on his smile. In a lot of his pictures, he had an awesome smile, a kind smile. So we're gonna do a nice curved line, curve for the cheeks. And we want to see his teeth. So I did another curve line. And then I'm going to go in between and do one more curve line. Now he's smiling and he's looking to the side. I'm sure you all are rocking it out. I'm going to go up and draw the P for his hat. To make this more of a bubble letter, box letter shape, you're just going to trace around the entire P. And then you're going to erase only part of the line. There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now I'm going to work on drawing the rest of his body. We're going to make it look like he's swinging his bat. Do an L shape. And then you're going to do another L shape, making sure you leave space because these are his arms. I always measure with my fingers so I know that I'm giving enough space. Make sure you give enough space this time. I'm doing three fingers. 
so I can make sure his arm is wide enough. Going down, creating that same L shape for the third time. There we go, and you see his arms already look like it's in a swinging motion. Super cool. I drew a straight line down. And now you can kind of see the shape more. We're gonna go ahead and create those sleeves. In this picture, he's wearing a jersey, a short sleeve jersey. There we go. Adding those designs by adding some lines. I'm doing three lines. Now we're gonna go up at a loop for his baseball bat. And then let's draw that baseball. Add in the stitches. I'm not really sure how many stitches a baseball has, but it's art, so we always can be creative. He was a number 21, so I'm drawing that two and that one. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the B to make it look more like a box shape. I'm erasing the inside. There we go. Get it nice and clean. Then I'm doing my one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna draw it and then I'm going to trace around it, just like I did my two. And then I'm going to erase inside, and then we'll be done. After you get done with your drawing, feel free to go back and add your Sharpie to make it really pop. And once you're done with that, all there is left to do is color. Wow, thanks so much for drawing with me. And if you like this video, check out some more. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, friends.